as you can probably see, uh, the fish are getting a lot bigger. Let's see if I can get them to come up to the surface here. So as you might uh, be able to tell, uh, the water has actually cleared up a lot since putting that seaweed extract in it. Uh, now our problem here is that this water, even though we did put insulation on the tanks, is still freezing. It's very cold. I don't even know how cold it is, but uh, I know it's probably too cold for active tilapia. So instead of hooking a, gigant a gigantic heater uh, up to both of these tanks to uh, you know keep a temperature control for the tilapia, uh, sorry, it's really windy. It's, it's, it's Memorial Day and there's a storm coming in. And uh, But anyway, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out a way to uh, heat these tanks in the winter and in the summertime if needed um, while uh, hopefully saving a little money. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Okay, so this is how we're going to save some money. Uh, this is our solar hot water heater. Uh, so what's going to happen is that recirc uh, line that we uh, just saw, water is going to be carried uh, from that one inch uh, recirc line. It's going to be down uh, downsized to a half inch. Water is then going to run through all these pipes that I painted black. I'd line the bottom uh, with with, uh, with some PVC pond liner just to save a little on paint and uh, just the leftover stuff. So uh, water will travel through these coils all the way down and it'll come out this end uh, to the other side or to the other tank. So the recirc line uh, instead of just uh, just aerating the water uh, in the in the the left tank will actually uh, heat the water as needed and uh, spit it out into the first tank. Uh, this is just uh, a PVC. Uh, I don't I don't even know what it is. It's just, it's, just, it's a clear PVC plastic. Uh, we picked it up at Home Depot. We bought a big sheet of it for like 20 bucks. Uh, it works. It's, I think it's going to work pretty well. Uh, but the whole thing, we probably have thirty dollars in parts in the whole thing. Uh, just use a two by three. The back is actually a piece of the floating raft uh, to keep keep it uh, to keep it light. You can see the styrofoam right here. Uh, so the thing, I mean, it's it's really light. I'll have to anchor it down with some screws. And uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, show you, uh, and uh, I should have it um, up and working uh, here pretty quick. Okay, so here's that research line that's coming off the pump inside the. Uh, greenhouse system and uh, we're gonna go ahead and run the hot water heater through this, re uh, this research line. Uh, this is actually the hot water heater all finished. Um, I'm not gonna hook it up because as you can see the, the storm is coming in and uh, I don't want to uh, I'm not gonna do it right now. I'll do it tomorrow when it's uh, hopefully uh, sunny. But uh, so the water will come in this side. It'll enter the box. It'll travel through this ri these um, uh, they'll travel through this pipe I don't know if you can't really see it through this uh, piece of PVC and then it'll exit this end and back into here uh, And we're gonna go ahead and create an aerator at the end uh, to help aerate the, uh, both of these tanks. So uh, This is the uh, w one of our dwarf tomato plants uh, in the indoor system. You can see it's it's doing pretty well It's really filling out uh, This one's getting pretty big too So uh, they're doing they're doing pretty good uh, You can see the bell pepper uh, inside of here uh, they're, get, they're getting big too, so that's pretty neat. There's a couple, there's one in there, you can see them back there. It's coming in pretty good. So you can, you can kind of see some of the flowers that are uh, developing on the indoor system. And uh, I'm just kind of pollinating them with my fingers. I don't have an electric toothbrush or anything like that, so I'm just kind of going like this, trying to spread that pollen around. And that, that's actually how I got these guys to come in, so. Uh, they're, they're getting pretty big too. There's actually four of them in here. Uh, there's two. There's a nice big one right here. So hopefully th those will get those will get pretty big. So this is the uh, lettuce. I'm trying to uh, this one's growing kind of funny, but whatever. All right, so let's take a look at some of the roots here on these plants. This is just one of the lettuce plants. You can see uh, the roots are starting to grow. Wow, pretty pretty long already on, on this uh, this particular lettuce, and uh, they're, they're just growing right down into the water, and that's how they collect their nutrients. It's pretty neat. 
you see this lettuce, the roots are just growing out of the basket around the sides. Uh, they're not hanging down yet, but I'm sure they will. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, don't forget to check out our website at hdaquaponics.com. Uh, from there, you can get uh, you can find our Facebook fan page, uh, HD Aquaponics, or our uh, YouTube our YouTube channel. So, I will be updating you guys again uh, here real soon. Thanks for watching.